The journey to bring home incarcerated survivors of domestic abuse starts now. Attorneys representing 13 survivors of domestic abuse in Oklahoma filed their second appeal Monday in Seminole County. Today we filed a request to apply for resentencing under the Oklahoma Survivors Act for Lisa Moss. The Oklahoma Survivors Act was made for people who survived domestic violence but were locked up for crimes against their abusers if the abuse played a role in their crime. It allows for leniency in sentencing. Lisa Moss's attorneys say her abuse had everything to do with with her conviction. She was in an abusive relationship with her husband. She went and told her brother about the abuse that she was experiencing and her daughter was experiencing sexual abuse from him and her brother uh, was on drugs at that time and he went and actually shot Mike. The petition claims Moss was physically, emotionally, financially, and sexually abused by her husband until the day he died. It goes on to say she was forced to keep the sexual abuse of her five-year-old daughter a secret or face severe physical punishment. If you ask Lisa, was she in genuine fear for her life? Yes, is the answer. Lisa didn't pull the trigger, but was convicted of murder and conspiracy. For 34 years, Lisa Moss has been behind bars for what she did. Her attorneys aren't arguing the verdict of that case, but say it's time for Lisa to be forgiven. This isn't about whether or not what she did was right or wrong. We concede she she was guilty. She was found guilty by the jury. This is about proportionality in the sentence. It's time now that we get to consider the abuse that she sustained at that time. She has done her time. 34 years is a long time. She didn't get to be a mom to either of her two kids. She didn't get to have a life. Now she has a chance at that. If the court grants the application, Moss's attorney says her sentencing would be reduced to 30 years or less, so the mother of two would go free. Reporting, Kylie Thomas, KOCO 5 News.